What is up, YouTube? We're back for another video. In this video, we're going to go over the top five methods in College Ultimate Team 25. At number five, we got we have the rerolls. Rerolls are not profitable, so that's why they're the lowest on this list. There's sometimes there there's very low there's very small times they are profitable. Like today, they were profitable for some people. There was a glitch happening. It was profitable for some people, not everyone. But the real is not a great coin method. That's why it's number five. My my opinion, my my experience for rerolls is, I profit in legend reroll my first time that I pulled LTD Moss. Also, alumni did not rip the pack. In case you miss it, I did not rip the pack. Too much training. 30 k per pack if you get training for minimum. And training is not minimum anymore because the eighty eight overall cards have went up due to everyone opening training packs today. Due to the, the glitch, people everyone wanted to open the packs. Seeing there was a glitch, people people just did not care what the price of the cards were. They just bought and bought and bought and cleared the whole auction house, basically of cheap ones. Conference stories today. They were really good for me. Previous times, I broke even or lost a hundred k. I mean, I don't. I never really. I never profit on a conference story before the glitch packs. Before that, I was. Either barely losing, staying the same. Like it was a very, very, very casual reroll. You weren't gaining, but you weren't like losing a ton, except like you have like a one or two reroll you'll lose a ton on. So that's my opinion. That's the fifth best method in the game. The fourth best method in the game. My opinion is gonna be you go over here. I they were um I would say the recruit pack method. Recruit packs, they aren't the greatest. They aren't guaranteed profit. But they are like a reroll, but they're cheaper and they're better. That's what my experience through them. I made a couple of videos on reroll on these on these packs if you want to go look at them. They're in my channel in the um in the pack opening playlist. You can go check up all my pack openings. I have recruit packs, I have legend packs, I have reroll packs in there, going through a lot of different stuff in there. Recruit packs are really cheap, 15k for 10. These packs are very, they can either be, like, they can go off, but they can also be really bad. Like, I pulled, like, there's time, I pulled 84, 85, I think I pulled 83 maybe out of them. Like, they, like, they can turn up, they can turn up really quickly, but they can also, they can kill your coins, they can also raise your coins. It's, like, a method that's... People really like because it's cheap pack. It's like it's you gotta think about like it's like a get a player pack from like earlier from like Madden games. From earlier Madden games. You got the get a pack get a player pack, which is a five hundred coin pack. The pack that pack was the best pack in the game every single year. Pack was guaranteed profit. The recruit pack is basically that, but it's times three the price and you can pull elites out of it. And you'll say guess you got a six you got a sixty eight overall fantasy pack out of it. Which does happen to give you 80 overalls sometimes, which I did out of 15 of them. I got 280 overalls, which was actually pretty good. But I was out of 15 packs, you probably get one of them 180 out of the 68 plus pack. But going to number three, number three, and number four, they can swap swap out personal opinion. Then, but I would go with the team pack because the team pack, to be honest. It's profit. You can almost profit every time if you sell everything out of the pack. It's thirty five hundred coins. Worst case, you get if you quick sell everything back, you get twenty five twenty five hundred coins back. You get because you get a stadium, a uniform, and a playbook. There's many playbooks in this game, going for thousands of coins and jerseys and stadiums that go for lots of coins. The last time I made a video on this was. I was talking about Oregon. I don't know. I was saying Oregon went for a lot of bees. Mark Mariota. Someone was yelling me in the ch someone was yelling me in the comment section saying, "No, Oregon's for it's because of Henry." I'm sorry. Okay. Oh well. Or Oregon, Oregon's a really good offensive playbook because Henry is. That's why it's expensive. And it, it goes for how much does it go for right now? Thirteen thousand coins. You, if you pulled it, that'd be nice. Also, same thing about this team. We have the uh, where is it? Uniforms. 12, 12 to fourteen, like 13, 14 k. People really like those jerseys a lot. 
We also, I think Coastal Carolina goes for a lot. I mean, they go for a decent amount. We have Coastal Carolina Stadium. I know it's, it's like a blue field. It goes for 10,000. You pull out that pack. We got, uh, we got Boise State Stadium, which goes for a lot. What your what your whole goal is right now uh, on, on that pack? You want to you want to keep breaking even until you get these start you you get like these 10, 15, 20k hits on these stadiums or um stadiums playbooks or uniforms. Let's go look at Alabama's playbook. Alabama's playbook. Last time I checked, it was a it was a decent playbook to get. Most of the a lot of the like major college teams have good have extensive playbooks like. We got Alabama. We got Arizona is a really good playbook. Everyone likes Arizona's playbook. I'm pretty sure right now. At least last time I checked, everyone used it. A lot of, not everyone used it. A lot of people liked it. We have LSU um, offense, which they have a trick play in it. They have the double pass. This used to be a more expensive playbook, but now it's currently went down. If you guys also want North Carolina has a double pass play in it, just for you guys to know. Um, another team that's expensive is gonna be Ohio State. Because it's Ohio State. It's the Ohio State. <laughs> There's defense down. Where is their defense at? 15k for the defense right there. But basically, it comes to that worth. Nothing. I don't know why I'm looking at Clemson. But that pa the playbook, the not playbook pack, the team pack is based solely on if you can, if you're, if you have the time. Because it is very annoying to be going out, going. Selling every card, you get three cards a pack. Selling the cards for seven, eight hundred coins. Like one of the one of them, They're selling other stuff for like twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred. It's a very tedious process, and you you gotta wait. You gotta take lots of time. But if you have like twenty five, thirty k, you're not gonna lose on the method, but you're not gonna profit a ton. So you can take the risk. Like it's like a method for very very low coin stacks. Like right now for me, I'm not doing it. There's no point. There's I have no reason to do it because it's not actually gonna be beneficial to me number two method what i've seen there you can play these soul seasons you can play you can play on a freshman okay or like number number this number two is me a mix between two things okay we get you can play freshman seasons you get a pack the season take like an hour hour and a half it's they're like two or three minute quarters and it's forget freshman difficulty you just literally just run the ball through the whole clock Score a score a touchdown, score a field goal, whatever you want to do. It's when you have to win five games in the regular season, then two playoff games, then you made it to Natty. Win the Natty to get the pack, so you get eight thousand coin pack, and also you get rewards. Um, let's check. You get forty five hundred coins for making the playoff for for getting five wins, and you make the playoffs. You get and you get went two wins, you get some more coins. Then with Natty, you get some coins in a pack. It's not a terrible method, honestly. But the other method is do your, do, do your solo challenges. That's also included in here. Do your solo challenges. Get your playbook. You can do these um, playbook solos if you haven't already done them. They are offense scheme trials and defense scheme trials. If you haven't done them already, make sure you do them. You get some playbooks and all that stuff. And you can sell the playbooks. Choose, like, look on the market for the most expensive playbook at in that like certain style. Like pro style offense is Arizona's in there. Pick Arizona, sell for 20k. And the last thing, the, the part of this number, the second best method, is going to be playing seasons and champs. You look, you look at champs, okay? I know a lot, this is very, very sweaty, okay? Let's see the rewards you get. One win, you get a Hail Mary and 3k coins. Two wins, you get a Hail Mary and 10k coins. Same thing for three wins, you get the same thing as two. Four and five win. four or five... You get anyway from four to six wins, you get a field goal pack and 17k coins. And he went from seven seven to nine, you get a field goal pack, a Hail Mary pack, and 28,000 coins. Okay, remember that's only nine, that's, that's seven wins if you need for earn that reward from wins from 10 to 12, which this is 10 wins, which means you have to win 50% of your games in Mud Champs. You get a victory formation pack, which I'm not sure what that is. You get 50k coins, then if you get 13 to six, 13 to 15 wins, which 13 wins is a Gonna be decently tough for most of you, but I I believe in you guys. You can do it. You get a field goal pack, a victory formation, a seventy k coins. Then, honestly, don't even look at the rest of this. Sixteen wins and ab above. 
like okay, 16, 16 and 17 wins, you get two form two victor formation packs, which I don't think I think that's actually glitched. And you get 95k coins, and you get a gala entry token. Then you get 18 plus wins is 125k coin, three victory formations and gala entry token, which I don't expect that. I mean you guys can try like I believe in you guys you can do it, but realistically most of you won't actually hit it. Then the best method in the game. I've been going over this method every single day, many times a day for you guys because it is the best method in the game. And it's flipping. Flipping is the number one method in the game. It's in the number one method every single year. Since it became since it was a thing. Because it's just a simple method to do. You're not gonna you're guaranteed to not lose. You're guaranteed to make coin. And it's just simple like that. Look at 12k, 12, 12k for 80 overall. Unfiltered right now. And 80 ones we got. What are the 80 ones going for? You can do this for 80 overalls through 83 overall. This will work really well. 80 ones go for 15k. We want to go sort by, by a position. Which you got. Can't do that. You got to sort by when new program positions. Like maybe even legends could work. Well, these legends are somewhat new. I'm not sure. I'm guessing you. Probably won't probably conference story is probably better. You want to get these cards for probably nine nine k for eighty overalls and sell back for twelve. You get good amount of you get about eight hundred profit. It's not a terrible profit. I mean, some people might not like that profit, but profit is profit in the end of, at the end of the day. All we're looking at is trying to make the most coins possible in this game. That's the whole goal. That's your whole goal. That's my at least that's my goal. I don't know if your goal is to make a lot of coins, but you're, you're watching this video, trying to make coins. So clearly you have a goal of making coins. That's what we share. We like make lit, we like making coins, we like not spending money. Because why would we want to give money to EA? We are the consumer. We aren't, we aren't, we shouldn't just have to be given the money just to be able to play the game, right? So that's why we make coins so we can buy our old, buy our teams for free. And use it use it to our advantage without having to sweat the credit card even once. Which I right I'm right now a no money spent player. My points are all from the pre-order. I don't spend any I don't spend any um money on packs or anything in this game. You'll see my points pro they might go down a little bit. Like um just to open my like if there's like if there's like a special pack in store for like five hundred points, I might buy up my points because I have eleven hundred left from the pre-order. But I'm not buying anymore. You won't see the number ever going up or anything. But the best method in the game is flipping. You flip 80 overalls, 80, 80 ones with the way you do that. You sort by 80 to 80 ones. Check the unfiltered price. Then you want to filter down by program and position to find them for cheapest. Then you have A2s, to A3s. Same thing. You go for 27, 28k for A2s, A3s. Are not flip them, they're not like card you're gonna. I mean, you could flip them back for 39k, I guess, but same same process sort by program. I guess, yeah, you can sort by just program, I guess, at this point, and buy the card, buy the card right there, and quickly go back and put it up for whatever the unfiltered price is. So let's you get the card for 21,450, put it back up for 27k. I think it's what it, I think that's what it said. Now that's a few thousand profit right there. I love I love it when I just when I love I love when I make these and there's cards there. Shows uh, it actually works. Like you saw in real time, I got a card and just put it right back in the auction house. It's gonna it's gonna sell back for twenty seven k, make a few thousand profit, easy like that, easy as that. But during, during content days, it might be worse, might be better. It really depends because. The market might be so flooded and it just might not work anymore. Or people just might just get smart, get, start getting smart and start posting stuff for overpriced stuff, like overpriced, which might, might, might make stuff worse, but just that, that will check the market. And make sure you guys check out my live streams. If I'm live streaming a couple times a week, my live stream for my live stream, the content for in case you missed it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But make sure you guys like subscribe and I'll see you all the next time.